Read Fine Books tagged me in the Naughty or Nice book tag. Generally speaking, I wouldn't wait a whole year to cover a book tag, but in this case, I just kind of felt the season had passed and I wanted to make sure that we were appropriately festive for this style of book tag. So now that the seasons come around again, let's go ahead and dive into those questions. The Nice Prompts. What books filled your heart with joy in 2023? A Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers, Serpents of the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent, Heart Haunt Havoc by Frideas Moon, and Demonic by Jeff Strand. Some of these stories were uplifting and hopeful, and some of them were just stories where I was having so much fun. Number two, what fictional character is at the top of Santa's nice list? Moss Cap from Psalm for the Wild Built, Jody from Hollow Beasts, and Mina from Dracula. Number three, have you always been on Santa's nice list? By the end of the year, yes, but I wouldn't say every second of every day is me being super kind. Number four, show us the nicest cover of a book you've read this year. Daughter of No Worlds. I think this book cover is stunning. Number five, share a nice seasonal holiday tradition you have. So when I was a kid, every year my family would go stop at KFC, pick up a to-go order, have a thermos of hot chocolate that we would eat and drink in the car, wait as night fell to go out and tour the grounds of La Follette, which was one of the number one biggest light shows in the Northeast. It was beautiful and it was such a lovely mashup of old lights like from way back when to the brand new ones. I just really loved it. Number six, what 2023 reads would you give to someone who'd been nice? Hollow Beast by Elisa Lynn Valdez. Benny Rose, The Cannibal King by Haley Piper. A Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. Demonic by Jeff Strand. And Riot Baby by Toshi Abuchi. I have given some of these books out to people who I thought would enjoy them. And number seven, who is the nicest booktuber? This one was kind of tricky because generally speaking, I think that nice equals boring. And most of the YouTubers I follow are not boring, obviously. And also most of the booktubers I follow are give critical reviews as well as positive ones. And I don't know if people consider critical reviews nice. Personally, I do, but I don't know how the larger world feels about it. In the end, I settled for Reads with Rachel and Jess Owens because they're always giving us information about the latest goings on of the book world and authors. And I think it's important to stay informed so it's like a great social service they do. And then moving into the naughty prompts. Name your favorite fictional naughty character. This year that's going to be Demarius from The White Ibis by Wendy Darenpole and Alex Stern from the Alex Stern series. Number two, what 2023 read would you give to someone who had been naughty? I give them All My Darkest Impulses by Lisa Unger. Now this book isn't bad, but it is book one in a four book novella series. It's secretly one big story. So at the end of book one, they're going to be totally unsatisfied and have a massive cliffhanger. Ha, 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 ha. Number three, what author would you like to meet in person? And honestly, none of them. Thank you, but no thank you. Number four, what naughty character deserves a chance to be on the nice list? Ashley from Witch by Ian Rob Wright and Fran from Manhunt by Gretchen Fleckner Martin. Ashley from Witch sort of like goes bad and it's rather ambiguous whether or not that's how her friend interprets it or she's actually evil, but I think she deserves a redemption arc and we should get hashtag justice for Ashley. And Fran from Manhunt is a very complicated character who is in a series of unfortunate events and I just think that she deserves a redemption arc or a chance to like live out her life and fully make decisions of her own free will. I mean she's kind of shitty in the book. She is not kind to Bath or to several other characters. She's a little bit fickle. She's very self-centered and insecure and makes decisions in a way that is about validating herself more than it is about survival or anyone or anything else. And I just would like her to get that opportunity. Number five, have you ever been on Santa's naughty list? Never for a whole year but I'm sure I've done some bad crap and have been on the list for a hot minute. Number six, share a seasonal slash holiday guilty pleasure. 
homemade Muddy Buddies. Those chocolate covered oranges you smash against the cabinet and you get like little individual slices and gingerbread loaf with chocolate frosting. And then number seven, name a naughty booktuber. So the closest I would come to like naughty would be mischievous or boundary pushing or like a little bit playfully irreverent. And to that end, I would say Heather over at Hea Booktubes does a great job sort of like poking fun at herself, her friends, her community from time to time. And I'd also say Jesse on booktube is really funny and sharp and has like that little bit of edge factor that might put her into this category. And that's gonna be the naughty or nice book tag. I chose both because I'm just extra like that. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to the answers to this prompt and that you're having a wonderful holiday so far. And as always, keep reading. Bye!